Okay, so for this video, I'm going to explain just the controls um, in this section of the keyboard. Um, I'm going to make a series of videos, and this will be the first of the series of instructional videos. Uh, so for when you first turn on the keyboard, um, you'll notice that um, you know the um, the display when you first turn this. Um, these knobs, when you turn, it'll basically just uh, select whatever you have in your channel bank, and um, you know, let's say if I add something to my channel rack, um, then you know there's going to be an additional um, an additional item. So let me hide this one. Um, and you know we can switch uh, between any of these. Um, so for the essential keyboard, uh, you don't have these bank buttons, so you're going to rely mainly on this um, this knob to switch channels. Um, and you can also set additional properties in the channel rack um, for the active channel just by clicking on these buttons. So you can click on that. Now you can set the channel rack volume. Um, you know, that's, uh, you'll see it here on the channel rack. It's a small knob. Um, I usually don't touch any of these and just leave it default um, and, you know, deal with the volume adjustments in the mixer. But for people who might want to do this, this will set the overall instrument level. Um, you can also adjust the channel racks panning um, here. So if you want it more left or more right center or more centered or more right, uh, you know, you can set it here. Um, you can also adjust the pitch. Um, and these again are all channel rack settings. Um, you can set the time marker. The time marker is basically uh, depending on whether you are in song or pattern mode. It will adjust where you are um, in the position of the song. So you can see this uh, this um, time position uh, time marker being updated, um, and it's good for like if you're editing and you want to select a specific segment, um, you know you can use this. Um, you can also adjust the color of the um, the, the coloring of the active channel. Um, now the nice thing is if you have a MK2 keyboard. Um, you know, what you set here will also determine the hue of the light that dis uh, displays on your keyboard. So if I want something more red, you know, I can turn this up and it'll change both this light as well as the, um, the channel rack, uh, the, the channel's uh, color um, in the channel rack. Okay, uh, and that's for the green color and the blue color. Um, and if you keep toggling, you know, these um, left and right arrows, they eventually go back in a circle. So it'll start from the beginning. Um, you can go back to go to the end. Um, so plugin presets, uh, most plugins don't support this, but there are some plugins where you can quickly adjust the, um, the presets just by, you know, scrolling back and forth. Um, I rarely use this, but I threw it in here in case it's useful. Um, and then finally the pattern. So if you have the playlist, um, opened and you have multiple patterns. So let's create multiple patterns here first so you can get an idea. Um, you can scroll and switch between the different patterns with this. Um, for the MK2 keyboards, you also have these up and down uh, controls that'll let you change this. So, but that's just two ways to um, access that. Um, and then finally, if you want for the active channel, let's say we want to update um, you know, the mixer track so let me bring this back up. Oh. Um, and one more thing I forgot to mention is um, these lights are glowing. They indicate the visibility status of um, the channel rack and the mixer panel. So if you hold down on the button, you know, we can toggle the visibility of the channel rack or toggle the visibility of the mixer panel. Um, so the right side is the mixer panel. The left side is the channel rack. Um, so what I was going back to say is that, um, you know, this target mix track, uh, we can adjust, you know, where, where are, um, you know, which, which channel or sorry, which mixer track uh, controls which um, channel. So for channel one, we're going to have track one control that. Um, let's do channel two, you know, and um, go there. Channel two, we have two controlling it. Wait, where do I have it mixed up? Okay, so right now I'm on uh, track, sorry, channel one. Here's channel two. Let's have it controlled by uh, two. Channel three is controlled by three. Channel four is controlled by four. 
channel five is not set to anything, but let's set it to five. Okay, um, so you can quickly, you know, do the assignments all from the keyboard. Um, yeah, and finally we've come back, come back to around here. Um, so yeah, so that's it just for um, these controls. I'll explain other portions of the keyboard in subsequent videos. All right, thank you.